I'm Marissa Sarbach following up on the efforts in Coconino County to prevent flooding in burn scar areas. A flood mitigation project costing millions of dollars has been underway since the pipeline fire tore through the area in 2022. This week, federal officials came to check out the progress. This is the inlet to the 10 foot diameter storm drain. The Coconino County Flood Control District giving the chief of the Natural Resources Conservation Service a tour around the progress on Tuesday. Over the last two years, seven out of the nine watersheds have been restored. The eighth is currently under construction. We want water to come into the structure. We don't want anything to inhibit water getting in the structure. The problem started after the Schultz fire back in 2010. The same exact area reburned in the pipeline fire in 2022 before the vegetation and soil were able to fully regenerate, leaving a massive burn scar. There's millions of tons coming off this mountain, and if you don't mitigate that sediment, then you really can't do much to protect people's homes downstream. Lucinda Andriani leads the county's flood control district and says it's innovative technology and it's working. We were early developers of this, this type, these types of mitigation, particularly the on forest watershed restoration measures where we restore the functioning of the watershed so that it will capture the sediment. The county and the federal agency's engineers putting their heads together to figure out how to get the flowing water into the channels and out of people's homes. The chief of NRCS speaking about the designs the engineers have come up with. It's new, it's, it's emerging technology, and as we have these fires across the country, some of the information that we're gaining from this uh, we'll be able to use across the country. It's already being implemented in other states. The opportunities to utilize this in in other areas, including places such as New Mexico that had you know terrible set of fires, same time we did. Um, and so there are opportunities to utilize the same strategy. For Arizona Tonight, I'm Marissa Sarbach.